Hi, um, hello again. Uh, today we're going to do chapter 8 that is home and automobile decision. Uh, this is a big chunk of your financial decision that you have to make. Um, probably automobile decision first, then house or home decision. Yeah. So the learning objective of today is um, make good buying decision. Uh, choose a vehicle that suits your need and budget. Choose house that meets your needs. Yeah. And also, um, we gonna decide whether to rent or to buy a house. Which one is more feasible? To calculate the cost of buying a home, and get the most out of your mortgage or house loan. Um, as for introduction, buying a home is the single biggest investment that uh, most people will make because it is it um, it involves la a large sum of loans and also is for a long long terms. Yeah, uh, it could be up to thirty five years. Buying a car is another major purchase decision. This is slightly um, short term decision, short term as compared to house, because the in Malaysia, the longest that we can take a loan for a car probably up to nine years, and you must know that it must fit the lifestyle and also our wallet. So probably um, need a make loan making a dramatic impact on personal finance. So if you take out a loan, of course it will actually impact your finances, and you have um, debt to pay. So this will add on to your existing debt. So what smart buying is, first step is to differentiate wants from needs. Okay, You probably want a sport car, but you cannot afford it. So you probably need only a small car to go to work and to go buy things uh, from your house. You do not need a sport car to go to work. So you must know how to differentiate between what you want and what you need. And do your homework. Do a little bit. We're going to go through each step later on. yeah. And then step 3, make your purchases. And step 4, maintain your purchases. So before you buy, 8.1 shows you a checklist of what you need to do. For example, decide in advance exactly what you want and what you can afford. Okay. Uh, do not buy on impulse because uh, ju or just because a salesperson is pressuring you. Uh, I know women always have impulse buying, so do not buy on impulse. Uh, stick to your plan. Take advantage of sales, but compare prices. Do not assume an item is a bargain just because it is advertised as one. So sometimes, um, mostly now, loans come up with a package whereby you will take up a loan, then it comes with a speaker, with a home set, uh, home theatre sets and everything. But bear in mind, it's all embedded in all the entire cost. So just because it's on promotion, and you just take it up, but you have to measure other factors as well. Do not rush into a large purchase because the price is only good today. We always have this marketing technique. Yeah? They said, uh, uh, this discount is only for today. And then if you come tomorrow, you won't get it. But then you check out, the next day you come, it's still the same. So do not go for that. Be aware of extra charges such as delivery charges, delivery fees, installation charges, service costs and postage and handling fees. Add them into a total cost. Okay, You can read this later on. Uh, these are all what you need. A checklist before you buy home or car okay uh, if let's say you have a problem how do you want to make a complaints so you make sure that you keep records of efforts to resolve the problems your emails your phone calls when you call them make sure you have it on record first contact with the business that you sold that sold you the item or pro perform the service if it doesn't work go directly to the company or the manufacturer when you when you write to the company, describe the problem, what you have done so far to resolve it, and what solution you want. Address letters, faxes, or emails to the company consumer affairs department, or to the president if there is no consumer office. Use a sample consumer letter in Figure 8.0. This is the one. So if you do have complaint regards to the item that you purchase or the house that you purchase, 
some defect and everything you can write to the contractor write to the sales um, sales office write to the complaints department customer service department so this is a sample letter where you can use uh, as a reference yeah all right uh, for buying vehicles okay choices to consider you either buy a new one you buy a used one or you lease it okay company usually lease it, uh, lease vehicle they don't they buy they don't buy directly new but they lease it after a year after a few years then they sell it in auction sell it in auction sorry so step one differentiate ones from the needs you have to know the features the qualities that you wanted okay um, you have to know what you want and what you need so you need you have to purchase things that you need not what you want features and qualities needed these are the two things that you need to know and you need when you buy you need to compare and differentiate it from what you want okay um, second do your homework okay how much can you afford um, the down payment, a monthly payment. Down payment in Malaysia normally is 10% of the total value of the car. Can you afford the down payment? Can you afford the monthly payment? Okay. Which vehicle is right for you? Compare shops, prices and attributes. Okay. Even if you go to the same, uh, use different brands have different features and different uh, attraction of a vehicle. So you need to compare which one the most suited to your needs operating and insurance cost warranty a warranty so you know how much uh, the insurance attached to your car the the more expensive the car the higher the insurance will be and how long is the warranty some local cars the warranty up to two years some uh, or one year in fact and some um, some imported cars probably it will be much um, longer it could be up to two two years up to or it could be how, up to how many services so it's, it depends on the manufacturer and the shop so you have to compare then step 3 make your purchase get a fair price uh, know the dealer cost or invoice price a dealer hold back 2 to 3 percent that manufacturer give to the dealer on the sales of the automobile so you probably wanted to get that from the dealer uh, Ask them what is the best price that they can give you. Approach dealer and get quotes and negotiate with them. Um, probably they won't give you uh, discounts in terms of prices. They will give you an in-kind additional features to your car. So uh, tips on buying a new vehicle. 8.3. Evaluate your needs and financial situation. Read consumer magazine and test drive several models before you make a final choice. Some cars are better suited women compared to men. There are certain type of car that suited women more um, better than men. So my advice is to actually go and test drive the car to see whether you are comfortable with the car or not. Yeah. Find out the dealer's invoice price for the car and options. Find out if manufacturer is offering rebates. Get price quotes from several dealers. Make sure you know whether the price quoted are the prices before or after the rebates are deducted. So um, inspect and test drive the vehicle you plan to buy and do not take possession of the car until the whole deal including financing is finalized. Okay? Don't make has a hasty decision. Leave your checkbook at home. Okay? <laughs> Meaning to say you do not um, go and quickly make a decision. Do not buy because the salesperson is pressuring you to make decision. Uh, don't afraid to walk away. It's not uncommon to get the best deal when you are in the car ready to leave. So shop at the end of the month, this is when the dealer are trying to meet code star so they be willing to take less now than other time of the month. So shop at the end of the month. Um, buying a used vehicles, okay? Check newspaper ads and use car guides at the local uh, library so that you know the fair price of the car. Uh, we don't longer go to the library but we can always check online. Look up for repair recalls for the car model you are considering. Um, negotiate. Shop during daylight hours so that you can thoroughly inspect the car and take a test drive. Do not forget to check all the lights, air conditioner, heater and other parts of electrical system. Do not agree to buy a car unless you have inspected by an independent mechanic of your choice. 
you can bring your mechanic along if you know anyone who know better about a car so bring them along ask questions about the previous ownership and many mechanical history of the car if possible contact the former owner to find out if the car was in accident or had any other problems ask the previous owner or the manufacturer for a copy of original manufacturer warranty it still might be in effect and transferable to you so if you're lucky you can still use it so do not sign anything that you don't understand read all the documents carefully negotiate the changes you want and get them written into the contract so uh, make your purchases financing alternative uh, the cheapest is cash if you have lots of cash you can pay by cash unfortunately not most of us have that luxury to pay by cash we have to make loans yeah investigate all financing options before buying meaning to say shop within various finance uh, finance finance provider keep financing out of the negotiation short the shorter the terms the higher the monthly payment you got to understand that yeah okay if you're leasing is ideally for financially stable who wants a new car every few years they drive less than 15,000 miles annually and good credit there's no down payment so close end or walk away lease uh, these are the two type of leases that you have um, if you go for a close end lease or walk away lease the vehicle lease in which you return the vehicle at the end of the lease and literally walk away from any further responsibility you need merely bring the vehicle back in good condition with normal wear and tear and the vehicle dealer assume the responsibility for reselling the vehicle so it's a close end and just walk away yeah meanwhile purchase options is an the automobile lease option that allows you to buy the car at the end of the lease for either its residual value or a fixed price that is specified in the lease so you can uh, when the lease ended you can either purchase the car whether it's uh, the residual value or it's the price stated in the lease contract when you when you want to make the lease initially yeah an open end lease is an automobile lease stating that when the lease expires the current market value of the car will be compared to the residual value of the car at a specified as specified in the lease contract so it's actually um, they compare between prices between the market value and the residual value uh, of the car then uh, you both with the lease and the lease will decide yeah so leasing makes sense if the lease under consideration is a close end not an open end lease okay you are financially stable so close end meanings to say again close end you just walk away um, after you have finished the lease you have done with it the car in the lease contract you just return it with normal wear and tear and you uh, walk freely okay if uh, you are financially stable it is important to you that you have a new car every two to four years and you do not drive over 15,000 15, miles uh, annually you take good care of your car and it ages with any normal wear and tear you do not bother by the thought of the monthly payment that never ends you use your vehicle for business travels you do not modify your car for example at superchargers or aftermarket suspension components or anything and the manufacturer of the vehicles you're interested is offering very low price leasing options okay mostly I, I never heard anyone um, individual who actually go for leasing but companies usually do that okay uh, keys to getting a good lease negotiates the value uh, for the car before signing the lease minimum down payment uh, warranty defined normal wear and tear termination fee is in that uh, depreciation factor rent or finance charges these are the keys to get a good lease